Hi guys, how's it going today? Today we are going to take this image of Kylie and edit it. Basically, this is straight out of the camera. Um, we're going to clean up the background a little bit. We're going to brighten Kylie up and add a vignette. And that's pretty much all we're going to do to this image. Um, all I've done so far is just crop it. Uh, I did not specify what size I wanted. I just kind of picked a ratio here. There we go. We'll go ahead and do that again real fast. So we still have image, image size. This is still a 19 inch by 15. Um, just because I don't know what size we're going to do this as a finished print. So I want to have options. So alrighty. Um, the very first thing I'm going to do is let's adjust our levels. So I'm going to go here to my actions, click level slider, double click. I'm really just looking at her because I'm going to brush this back in the whole background. And I just want to get her face nice bright and a little bit contrasty so we can see her beautiful shine. I'm going to go down here, bottom right, click this. It's already selected my 30% brush because it's tied into my actions. And if you want a copy of my actions, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. I'll send those over to you. No charge. My gift to you. And so I'm just brushing back in the background. It doesn't have to be super precise. I realize I'm touching her ears. That's okay. Click, click, click. Let's see. Here's our before and our after. So we do have a nice contrasty shine on her face. This drool is so cute. I'm going to leave it, let mom see it, see if she decides if she wants it or not. Um, if she doesn't want it, it'll come out super easy. Let's just try a healing brush just like that. But we're going to leave it for now. Okay, next thing I want to do, heal brush. So we can go right here. And I'm just going to brush that, brush that, kind of clean up the background. And now y'all see this line? Um, I saw that when I was photographing, but I did not take the time to fix it. Maybe I should have, and I wouldn't be fixing this now, but that's okay because now I get to show you how to do it. So the first thing I want to do is select Kylie here. So Control, Alt, R, boom, and click up here to select subject. Again, that was Control, Alt, R, brings this up. We have Kylie selected here. I'm going to leave all this the same. And Output to New Layer. Say OK. I'll go down here to my Layers Palette and click that. If your Layers Palette is missing, you can find it here in Windows Layers. If you want to make your workspace look like mine, um, I have a video for that in my setup. So you're welcome to look through my channel, find that video. Um, maybe if I remember, I'll put a link in the comments, but I'm really bad um, about remembering to do that. So now we have Kylie as a separate layer. We could drag her around if we wanted. She's also in the background. Um, but what we want to do is select our background layer. I for eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select kind of like this medium gray right here. And then I'm going to say B for my brush, and I want to go to lighten mode. And I'm in 30%, which is good. So that was a single click, single click, single click. So three single clicks. And now I'm going to say I again for eyedropper tool, and I'm going to pick a slightly darker shade, maybe right about here. B for paintbrush, and then I'm going to go to darken mode. 30% still. That was a single click, single click, single click. Maybe down there just a little. So since we made Kylie a layer, we were able to go in and just haphazardly brush um, and not mess her up. So she's completely fine there. And you can see her before and after. There's before, there's after. I like that. I'm going to hit F8 to flatten. I think this is good. We're just going to go up to our actions, click black vignette. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger using the bracket keys. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to drag that up there. For some reason it didn't flatten, but that's okay. Um, if I had it there, the gradient fill is kind of behind her and we want it on top of her. So that's okay. Click back right here. There we go. And I clicked F8 to flatten. That is um, a setting in my actions. You can also go to, like to layer flatten, or you can just get a copy of my actions. Happy to send them to you. I'm going up to my 100% brush just on her face. There we go. Maybe another 30. And then before vignette, 
after vignette. It's lovely. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, um, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, I'm super happy to help. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.